Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We are pulling out our crickets and we're making a SVG file from the dreamingtree.com that is this gorgeous egg that is only two dollars and 99 cents on their website and so i've never made a dreaming tree project before this is the very first one and it was pretty easy to make and cut out so the first thing that i did was i just grabbed some plain purple cardstock to make the base and because it all all the pieces were cut out on the cricket of course and so these are the pieces that you'll have and i used some anna griffin gold foil cardstock for this piece which is the top octagon shape and some of the flower leaves and this is what it looks like when it's all put together now the dreamingtree.com has a web a website and they have a video a full tutorial on how to put this together so don't worry that you're not seeing it all on um this video they have an it's an hour and 45 minute video of how to put this thing together so these rosettes were cut out of the anna griffin plaid paper i'm just taking some distress ink and distressing the edges these are just some things like I'm just showing you some of the steps that you would take to put this together so that you can see how easy it was to put together if you decide that you want to do it without having to go watch their full tutorial. They did um, a lot of these things. Actually, mine looks pretty similar to theirs except for with Anna Griffin paper. And then you put that rosette on the top because this is going to be the base that your egg sits on. Then you just take some paper and in a blue or whatever color you decide and you cut out these pieces which are the structure of the egg and after you put it all together this is what it looks like on the inside i would say you know maybe um put some tissue paper in there or something to cover up all those inner workings and i'm using the heritage no what are those new papers that i just bought um the heirloom lace papers that i just bought for the egg and this is just one sh well it's two sheets but that one side you just saw was the front and then this is the back and so um they perfectly coordinate together and there they used ribbon on their um egg i didn't really have any decorative ribbon so i'm using these pearls they're already put together so it was a lot easier just to stick them onto the edge of the top of this um, egg shape and you can already see that I've also started putting some rhinestones so that's what this package of pearls looks like and how it's already st st sticky it's already um, together makes it super quick and easy and it's the same thing with these rhinestones um, they're already stuck together they're already um, adhesive you just take them and stick them straight on there and of course you want it to go all the way to the top and i will be um, adding more to the top uh, later on but for right now i'm just using the strips this is as long as the strips were and so i'll have to cut some other pieces to put them on and um, i'm just putting them on right now to you know see what this is looking like and enjoy it and also if you want them to stay a little bit more take your hot glue gun and what i did ended up doing was sticking down just the bottom part and then sticking down just the top part but really not doing anything not doing the whole strip and this will give you just that extra you know security so that you know that your rhinestones aren't going to fall off even though they have self adhesive sticky on them so this is the base we already saw what it looks like those same rhinestones are all around there and this is the whole egg um, assembled and put together and mostly decorated and this is what the inside looks like it is huge you could stick a really nice present inside and no one would uh, expect what would be inside and i think that this egg could be for anything um not just for a um 
Easter project. So here's some of the leaves that we cut out. And I use this um, wedding cardstock from Michaels to cut out these um, pieces, which they use glitter cardstock. Uh, I just, this is like a pearlescent um, cardstock that's like a wedding from a wedding set from, like I said, from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. And then back to uh, these leaves that we're going to also be using. We already put on the medallion. And so here you see that there's these small circles at the bottom of these leaves and you kind of just align them on top of each other. I kind of feel like um, some things he just assumed we would know. And yes, I, I did get it. Yeah, it was pretty much, you know, intuitive. So, but I thought I'd mention it here. And then um, just inking also, once again, some of the edges of the leaves just to give them some more dimension. And they also have some score lines on them that the Cricut put in there and that they put into the SVG file that allow you to shape your leaves. So it makes the shaping really, really easy. And they do show you that part in the video um so i recommend highly recommend watching it like i said it is an hour and 45 minutes so i'm just giving you literally the nuts and bolts of what happens in that video because um it was a, a long process and so uh it, it only took me a uh, half of a day to make it though if you're just gonna sit down and make it the video is an hour and 45 minutes like i said and to cut it out on the Cricut was probably like um, 30 minutes. Well, I won't even say. It takes me a long time to put my paper and take it off and stuff. Like if, if you're really into your Cricut and you're using it all the time, it's probably going to take you maybe 15 minutes to cut all this out on your Cricut. And if you have a maker, it's probably going to take even less time because I just have an Explore Air 2, which is uh, the slower machine and then so you know say say 15 minutes to cut all of this out on the maker and an hour and 45 minutes to put it together as long as you um, have all of your supplies like your rhinestones and everything already you know out and on your work surface i would say it took me 30 minutes <laughs> just to decide what paper that i wanted so for me it was probably like a a four hour process as you know because i i was taking my time being real slow you know and then i would you know eat in between you know and things like that um just shaping the leaves you know um inking up the leaves things like that and uh i didn't think they showed a lot of this part into the video which is why i'm showing it to you here on this video but you can just see how easy this is to put together i could not believe what a beautiful um project that that this was i've looked at a lot of the projects and they weren't really my style necessarily but this one just spoke to me and when my husband saw it he was like what is that that thing is like the most amazing thing ever and i said oh yeah wow you really like it and he's like oh yeah i really like that so <laughs> <laughs> that was like very encouraging that you know and with the Anna Griffin papers it looks amazing it'll look amazing with any papers it's just really a great project honestly um but I had just got those papers and I was I'm using them you know making sure I'm using what I have because that's what this channel is all about right so here's the egg and i know i got stopped talking about it um the egg and you see i added the rhinestones all the way up to the top and now there's this little piece that goes up there and there's supposed to be a finial or something that you know makes it look like a faberge egg that sits on the top and um i don't have that so you honestly could just put the rhinestones and leave it at that without even putting this piece on and um i was thinking oh i'll try and go and get a finial thing or whatever it was he said it was just a piece of styro styrofoam um to put on the top but you know honestly i could have just left that gold piece off let the rhinestones do all of the work and let it be like that um so here we're putting our last finishing touch on the flower 
so the leaves are on those purple flowers are on uh, the top and here's our flower they do show you, so you see how the flower covers everything so you don't see all of that working like you'll see it when you open it but you know it covers it um and you can cover it up with something if you wanted to uh but these are the rest of the purple flowers and then just place those on with your hot glue and pretty much this project is now finished and so if you want to make this i i know easter is tomorrow but you could make it today and give it to somebody tomorrow so the base does get or the egg does get glued down to the base so once you glue it down to the base it now is a self-standing thing the top will not stay on it keeps falling off it is very top heavy clearly with a giant flower and anything you turn upside down that has a lid is gonna probably fall off so you know that's normal um but yeah here's the whole thing the front the back the sides the flowers and everything else it was really fun to put together i love it i absolutely love it and i think you will too so go on the dreamingtree.com and make your project thank you for um watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video with a crafty friend have a good day bye